A homeless shelter in Orange County has the usual stuff, the beds, the food, the folks who are charged with helping the homeless turn their lives around. But what you might not expect them to have is their very own CD. The album, Shelter Me, is full of music written by and for the homeless. Joining us tonight with more on the release, we welcome the producer of Shelter Me, Mr. Scott Hayes. We're glad to have you on, Scott. Well, thank you. Yeah, we, uh, we were also supposed to have uh, Mark Miller on. He's the program director for the Friendship Shelter, but he was um, caught in the snarl of traffic. So That's what I hear. That, <laughs> so we'll just go as is. We're really excited to have you on, though. Thank Talk you. about the, the CD. Um, who came up with the idea? Um, actually, I came up with the idea, but I had read an article about a national album that came out called Give Us Your Poor, mm -hmm. and it was a benefit CD for the homeless on a national level. And I thought, well, let's do one on a local level. And I live in Laguna Beach, and we have great local musicians, and I thought, Let's put together 13 original songs mm -hmm. about the issue of homelessness, and let's make sure some of those songs are written by homeless musicians. And that was my idea. I approached the Friendship Shelter, and we moved on it. Well, let's back up just a little bit. Sure. Why uh, the interest in homeless? There's plenty of causes you can give your time to. Yeah, that's true. Um, I have a friend, and he's homeless. And his name is Dave Holland McMahon, and he lives in uh, Laguna Beach on the streets, and he plays his guitar in the alley where I pass every day when I'm walking downtown. And he and I struck up a friendship years ago. And I started listening to his songs and listening to the lyrics of his songs. And I teach English part-time at the community college level. And I was uh, literally blown away by his songwriting ability. And uh, he's the one really who inspired this whole project for me. So the uh, proceeds from the CD, where do they go? Proceeds go to the Friendship Shelter in Laguna Beach. And it's a facility that houses 30 adult men and women uh, 365 days out of the year, mm -hmm. up to 90 days, and then they offer them some uh, transition housing and job opportunities and things along these lines. We're looking at some video right now of the Friendship uh, Shelter. Mm -hmm. um, in producing this uh, this CD, you said that you uh, not only had your friend uh, write a song, but right. you also employed <laughs> who, whom else from, from the area? <laughs> I went out and scoured the uh, local music community and got the best songwriters that I could find because I wanted to make sure this was about the songwriting, not necessarily about the musicianship. And so we have on there, for example, local musicians like Shane Fair, who co-produced uh, Bill Medley's last CD. Mm -hmm. We have Alec Bridges, a young up-and-coming musician. We have Kevin Danzig. We have another homeless musician by the name of Jelani Diaz. And Jelani was living at the rescue mission in Santa Ana. And I went down and spent a little time with him in a storage room on a box. And we listened to about a half dozen of his songs and picked one out and included that on the CD as well called Beautiful You. And it's a beautiful song. Yeah. What, did, what did the people think when you came to them and, and told them the project that you're doing? You know, I, I was, I was um, overwhelmed by the uh, outreach and the community support that I received for this project. The musicians stepped up, the writers stepped up, the community stepped up. That was the one thing that overwhelmed me was the community support for this project. Yeah. We've talked about the CD long enough. Let's let folks hear a little bit of it. Uh, we have a clip from Beautiful You. Oh, nice. Your hair's too short and your thighs are too big and I'm tall enough or will you ever have... You mentioned, um, Scott, that uh, the songwriting was most important to you more so than the musicianship. Right. Why is that? Uh, I'm a writer by trade. I mean, that's how I've made my living most of my adult life. And uh, so I pay attention to the lyrics. And uh, Holland, one of the homeless musicians, for example, has a song called Ain't It a Wonderful Life. And it's performed by local artist Jason Fetty. And there's this incredible line in there about how living out of his car for so long had caused him to forget what love could feel like. I mean, think about that. You know, he's been living out of his car for so long, he couldn't remember what love felt like anymore. And it was that line, I think, ultimately, that sort of inspired this whole project. If folks want to get a hold of the CD, can they log on to friendshipshelter.org, or is there another place? Friendshipshelter.org. We also have uh, sheltermecd.com, okay. uh, cdbaby.com, and some of the local... Uh, retail stores downtown Laguna. It sounds very folksy. It's very uh, Americana and folksy, yeah. absolutely. It had to be. The genre sort of fit the subject matter right. thematically, you know. Yeah. And uh, Jelani here, I mean, you know, here's Jelani Diaz. We just heard his song, and, you know, six months ago he was living in the shelter basically in Santa Ana, and he's now on your show, and so I'm very happy for him. That's great. Good yeah. stuff. All right, thank you so much, Scott, for coming in. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, glad to have you on. Still to come on.